David Cohen from Variety here. We're here at the KNB EFX Group in Chatsworth, California to get an inside look at the making of The Walking Dead. Greg Nicotero started out doing effects makeup and he's still one of the top artists in the business but he's moved up to being a producer and director on The Walking Dead. KNB is his shop, and he was kind enough to take us around, starting in their break room, which has a little more than coffee machines and tables. Let's go around the room a little bit, and you can talk us through some of these pieces. Well, this is the, uh, this is the well walker from Walking Dead season two. There was a great sequence where they find a well that they're hoping that they can mine for some water and of course there's a dead walker inside. One of the signature things on The Walking Dead are the teeth. For every character that we do, we make custom dentures that we put in the actor's mouths and then the prosthetics are sculpted over top of it. By building up the cheekbones and the brows, making the noses smaller and then removing the lips, you get this sort of decaying feature that is sort of classic to The Walking Dead now. <laughs> This is the sculpting room. The majority of the work that we do conceptually starts here. Tell us a little bit about the psychology of the teeth. I always felt that zombies, their principal weapon are their teeth. So the more that you expose their teeth, the more threatening they look. This is the foam room. Once you have the sculptures completed, we create molds from the clay sculptures and then bring the molds in here. And these guys run foam latex or silicone. So it goes in and it's liquid. And then after a couple minutes, it gels. Once it gels, it's put in the oven and cured overnight. Then we went into the main workshop, which has a little more than a bunch of tools and workbenches. So this is a, a female head with the teeth already sculpted onto it. The gums are visible and the lips are gone. Looks like the lip got chewed away. So once this gets glued onto the actors, it gets painted, we add blood, we put a little bit of conditioner in the hair to make their hair look kind of greasy, and contact lenses, and then we send them out to eat anybody they want. So this is actually gonna go on someone's face. Yes. You know, I'm not gonna put it on, but it's sort of like this kind of deal right here. For the last five seasons of The Walking Dead, we've probably created 200 different sculptures because we don't have the same zombies twice. This season, there were a couple sequences where our characters came into contact with walkers whose arms and legs had been removed. So this cable right here operates the up and down. So that head moves up and down, and then you can go side to side there. And then while you're doing all that, this cable operates the mouth, so you can do that. We make dozens of these every season. This looks pretty good, but then we run it over with a car, we light it on fire, we blow the head up. Um, this season alone, we've, we've destroyed a lot of the puppets, so they get shipped back here, and we take the skins off, and then we make new skins, and we redress the understructure. So who actually operates these puppets on the set? We have puppeteers. It's the same guys that, that apply the makeups. Everybody that's here at the shop is, is responsible for designing, building, painting. And finally, we went into Greg's office, which is a little more than a desk, a chair, and a computer. Tell us about creating zombies that are gonna continue to be scary and disturbing even when you've been seeing them episode after episode for season after season. These undead have been walking around for almost two years now. So each season, we change the makeups a little bit. They're more decomposed. In season five, we had missing noses and there was a lot more skin gone and more bone exposed. It's like a pumpkin sitting on your front porch after Halloween. The showrunner Scott Gimple and the writing staff and myself were able to continue to sort of find new and unique ways to either kill our walkers or to display them in certain fashion that you haven't seen before. And that's tremendously important. 